Lauren, it can be difficult for parents to identify their child may be struggling with their mental health. Experts say there are some warning signs you could look for a persistent sadness in your child, also drastic mood or behavior changes and missing school. We also know that some families may find it taboo to discuss mental health concerns, but professionals say it is time to talk about it. There's a crisis in kids' mental health, and experts say it can't be ignored. Mental health is as important as uh, any type of health, including physical health. More than ever, children are dealing with the trauma of gun violence, a post-pandemic society, and the pressures of social media. Mental health-related issues from anxiety to depression are up among young people. Eyewitness News sat down with Dr. Narissa Price, a wake med psychiatrist who sees the impact firsthand. So it's so critical to reach the child, the teenager, the young person, to help them to identify when these symptoms may begin. Dr. Price says this generation is more open to discussing mental health than older adults. We saw it this week in Durham when high school students were vulnerable and open about the impact gun violence is having on their mental health. If you experience what we call an adverse childhood experience or trauma before the age of 18, such as being in, uh, exposed to violence in your community. It greatly increases your risk of developing depression and anxiety. There are things that we can do earlier on in a child's life to prevent, to protect them from some of those traumas from happening. And a part of that prevention includes community support, conversations and resources. All of that will be discussed tomorrow at our town hall about youth mental health. The goal is to raise awareness about what's causing this crisis, as well as highlighting solutions available to families. You can join us for this very important conversation Thursday night at 7 o'clock. You can view this conversation on ABC11.com.